So we're going to record the, uh, the last flight of the Sky Arrow. Uh, this is in slow motion that was done at Vic Park um, and the Zod co-pilot wasn't set up correctly for it and consequently I got about two and a half seconds in the air before no. the plane self-destructed. Um, tower broke, broke the wings, nose broke, propeller came off, no. um, you've got a second view of that. Uh, the uh, the Bank and Yank uh, Radio Control uh, Club are sitting there and having a bit of a look and seeing what's going on. Ouch, many hours. Anyway, this video is about uh, rebuilding that plane. Um, yeah, servos popped off here, the uh, rudder servo inside popped off. Uh, the it's, uh, it's pretty badly broken. So I've repaired the wing section, um, you know, firm the top and bottom. Uh, it's done with uh, hot glue. And then um, taped, it, taped over with uh, clear packing tape just to give some strength. You can see now that the wing's um, pretty straight. There's still a few creases in it, but the spars are all strong, so it should, should stick together. Servos are glued back in, uh, wing struts got put on. Uh, so rebuilding the body, um, a different shape now from the original design, um, and a lot more reinforcing inside. So you can see uh, it'll be in the next clip. I was able to retrieve or to recover the actual tail section um, with a little carbon fiber rod along the front there. Fuselage slowly coming together. The tail section, uh, there's a bit of. Uh, oh, you can see doubling up here now inside the, uh, the the main area of the fuselage. Uh, tail section being uh, being assembled and put on. You can see that the the uh, elevator section there's held on with a couple of screws into some uh, plywood at the back to give it some strength. And then the fin is slotted down into that. These are the uh, the engine. Uh, sorry, the wing mounts, uh, front and rear wing mounts, uh, ready for screwing the wing down onto the top. Some formers put in here. Uh, the uh, front section is is nearly done. Just um, fitting up the back. Um, checking out the electronics, making sure uh, making sure stuff fits in. Double checking on all the servos that they're working okay after the crash. Push rod in for the for the rudder and wiring up the um, the elevator servo there. Control horns going on for the rudder and uh, new carbon fibre in front of the, uh, the stabiliser fin. Back section nearing completion and you can see now that the front section is the engine mount's been put on and the engine has been mounted. Little carbon fibre rod for that. Uh, to strengthen up the tail. You can see the um, five ply, I think it's about uh, six mil, no, 12 mil. Push rod connected up to the horn for the rudder, works quite well. Doubling up in that front fuselage section wiring up the motor. Unfortunately at this point I discovered that the plane was too nose heavy and had to um, chop off a fair bit of the front of the plane to get it to uh, so that 
the center of gravity was correct once I put the electronics in it. Side there. I mean, it looked alright, but uh, yeah, way too nose heavy. Uh, new wheels added to the uh, added to the plane. Um, cut that out of some aluminium uh, strip. Uh, plywood mounted underneath and inside the model. That's a draw runner from Bunnings for about eighty cents. Servo mounted for the uh, for the rudder. This is the old engine mount before I had to cut the nose off. And redoing the front end of the plane. Chop the nose off. New engine mount. Check the center of gravity, make sure we're good. And then finalizing the plane. Electronics are in, there's a Zod co pilot. Cockpit covers ready to go on. Wheels finished. Boat is set up. Pretty happy with the end result, actually. Now we're ready for a maiden flight, which um, we'll, uh, we'll post a video a little bit later on. <laughs>